Hey, 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 welcome to day 1199 of What's She Up To Now? Sharon Hornelstrom here, documenting my journey as I transition from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business. 2018, I had the opportunity following my divorce, I guess it was 2017, uh, to decide what I wanted to do going forward. I didn't want to go back to corporate America. I didn't really want to continue to do the business as I had done with my ex husband or work in those industries any longer. I wanted a change. And for a long time, probably a decade or so, I had been curious about the online world, the internet. I dabbled, I'd done a couple of things, but I never really had the time and the energy to devote to figuring it out, learning it, figuring out where I fit in the online world. And so in 2017, following my divorce and the separation and the, the dissipate, dissipation, I don't know if that's the right word, the, the disintegration, the dissipation, the um, the dis dissolution, I think dissolution is probably a better choice, of the things that we were doing together as businesses, I had an opportunity to figure out, well, what do I want to do? And I decided I would jump in with both feet and explore the online world. So I started out uh, by becoming a ClickFunnels certified partner. And I don't know if you know what ClickFunnels is or not. It's just an online software platform that you can use to build really websites and sales funnels and and all sales funnels are, are websites that that automate the sales process so since i've always been a very process oriented person coming from corporate america and the quality field and engineering processes learning processes and applying processes and us having a software that could automate that for me was right up my alley so that is where i started dabbled with that for a while had some health challenges and then decided I would expand into different areas and have done a lot of things, lots of different things online so far and continue to navigate and find what feels right for me and what I really want to do with the rest of my life, how I want to contribute, how I want to make a difference, how I want to add value to other people's lives because I've pretty much done many of the things, if not, not all of the things, we've never done all the things we want, but I've done most of the things that I want. I've got a beautiful family, beautiful um, experiences. I'm traveling now for the first time since 2019. Haven't really been out of the house much since 2019. So it's been a wonderful week and a half so far. Be gone another uh, week or so. And I forgot, I love to travel, but I also love having things the way I have them. I, I have systems and processes and routines set up that make my life work a lot more efficiently and a lot more smoothly than they do on the road. But being on the road allows me the opportunity to be creative and flexible and find different places to make my my content and my videos and I get to use really cool cups from all over the world this one's from Tennessee so there's there's advantages to everything we do I get to talk today about a couple of my favorite topics now I don't know if you've known this or not but change is actually one of my favorite things in the whole wide world I do a a 30 plus day challenge I've done it seven times and we'll probably do it again this summer I'm not sure exactly when this summer because I've got a lot of commitments this summer with my grandchildren uh, but I've been thinking I'm thinking maybe it's gonna wait till August because June and July are gonna be fun summer months and then in August we'll do another 30 day get up and go challenge I'm gonna skip the June to July one this year because I am gonna be hanging out with my two granddaughters in June well, the rest of the family goes to Alaska for, for a, a 12 to 14 day stint. So I'm going to be a very busy person in my personal life, which is kind of what I live for nowadays. So Get Up and Go Challenge is all about change and taking change and challenges because challenges are just changes that happen in our life outside of us and making sure and guaranteeing by using the SOAP framework, a framework that I've used my whole life because I've had many, 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 many thousands of challenges in my life. Some that people don't survive. Many that people don't survive. Um, and as such, I've become a change expert for myself and to help other people through the process as well. So the Get Up and Go Challenge, we install in your subconscious a process that automatically guarantees you're going to be better off after any change or challenge you face than before you had that change or challenge. Guess what? It works for things like breaking a nail to COVID-19 pandemic. It allows us to make sure that we are better off and we keep moving no matter what happens outside of us or, or around us. And, and it's helped a lot, thousands of people, including me, through a lot of drama and a lot of trauma, even trauma, uh, by having this process 
in our tool belt. And so we go through, I share at least 30, probably 40 or more different tools that you can use in your life right now to get through change, to face challenges, to make sure that you're better off than you were before the change or challenge. I, uh, today we talked about change, of course, in our Do One Thing Every Day That Centers You Challenge. And as such, we embrace change. Our supersize your business idiom was to get down to business or let's get down to business, which is another topic I love about getting to work, getting focused, doing what you can do right now and making sure you get the results that you want. So two of my favorite topics today for our challenges. Uh, again, traveling. So if you have questions, ask me, but I don't guarantee I'll get back to you as quickly as I would if I were at home. That's it. Have an awesome day and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow. Bye.